Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, I don't know if any of you follow um, Marvelous Artsy, Marva, but um, she had posted on her um, video about BB Craft and uh, how they would uh, sponsor you if you had over a hundred followers and that um, you wanted to try some of their products and, and uh, do videos and show them what you thought about it. So I said, what the heck? So I tried it. So I contacted them and I ordered some things and it came. Yay! So um, I'm going to do something, but uh, this is what I got. First off, I got some jump rings because you can never have enough jump rings. And then on this, these are open bezels. They are so cool looking uh, with sea coral and stuff like that in it. I can't wait to play with that with some UV resin. And this came in a pack of, um, I want to say there's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Ten pieces in this pack. And then they're in this little pack of jump rings. Uh, it's 50. And then I ordered um, some. Now, I didn't realize that I got so many of these. Oh, I didn't know that it came in a big bag like this. I just ordered one, but it came with two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty. It came with twenty pieces. I got the other ones here. I was gonna, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them. But that it's a um, a mold with flower and leaves and a little stem. I'm going to love playing with these little stems. And you know me and my flowers. And I'm always for uh, up to try a different leaf, so we're going to be um, doing that. And then the other mold that I got is a um, container uh, mold that it came with some finger cots, a little mixing pot, came with the uh, wooden um, brace that you put around the mold to keep it steady when you're uh, pouring it. And it's called a uh, department. Oh, and it also comes with some pipettes and some stir spoons. But it's a multi-compartment um, mold that I haven't quite figured out how. I'm still looking at the directions on how um, you use this. Um... So I'm going to be trying to figure that out before I uh, use this little mold. But it's supposed to be a compartment mold. And I'm, I'm anxious to, uh, to try to figure that out and see what we can do with it. So, But that's for a later time. Right today, we're going to be uh, pouring some of the little flowers and leaves and the little stems. I'm going to pour six of these. So... I'm going to get me some resin mixed up and then I'll come back. Okay, so I got some resin and I'm going to use this little pipette to try to get into these uh, thing. But first I want to, I think that I'm going to um, put some pigment in here. Some white pigment. Instead of black. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't have it with me. So I'm going to be using this um, 
pearl white powder. I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby. mistaken. It's really pretty. It's got a pearlescent. It doesn't matter if it's pearlescent or not, it's not going to be showing in there anyway. But I may have some left over, it looks like, so I might make a little bird or something. So I'm going to use this pipette. And these are very fiddly if you've never used one. You have to just squeeze it and then put it in the resin and let it come up. use it to put it in here. It makes it a lot uh, easier when you're dealing with something that small. get it in the, the little creases of it instead of pouring it in there and risking run overflowing it to the next one but it is a slow process Flow up in there. And when I get through getting this in there, I will take a dotting tool and make sure I don't have any bubbles in there. If you give it time, resin goes where resin wants to go. Like I think I got this one a little bit too much full. Get another baby wipe and take my dotting tool and make sure I don't have any bubbles in there. You can also pick it up and make sure that it's full that way. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know I had it off camera. I'm just kind of opening it up and making sure I got enough to fill up that and just opening it up and letting the resin run into it. I don't mind if it has a little bit of overflow on that one. And like 
make sure that it's at least got some in there. That way, you make sure you got a, at least your stick will, your little branch will be something that you can call a branch. pipette and put it in the little leaf because that little leaf doesn't hold very much either. It's very tiny. And all I did was paint these with uh, beaver dust mica powders. Green for the leaves blue-green for these blue flowers and pink for the other flowers here and brown for the stem used to bigger pours. I'm not used to these little fiddly things like this. But it won't take long to cure these up in the curing machine. Because they're so small. It's a little fiddly, but I think they're going to be very cute, and I think that they'll really, really be pretty on some glass. Y'all know me and my flowers on glass. Or if you're a member of my Facebook page, Awesome Incidentals, you see me post a lot of uh, art that I do on glass. Okay. So we're good with that. I don't mind the overpour. I can trim it off later. So we'll uh, let that be that, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there as far as the uh, process goes, and we'll uh, be back when it's cured. Okay, I think they're ready. I had a little extra, and I. Uh, Made a little skull. I'm not a big skull person, but I have a show coming up at a Harley dealer, and a lot of bikers like skulls. So I'm hoping that they'll like these. And I make these little birds because I give them as gifts for every purchase that the people make. So this one was a little two-tone bird. Okay, so let's see what we got. This one I started to pull out. Have a little trimming to do.
these uh, these stick ones are very fiddly, very thin. Even when you fill it up full of resin, it's very thin, so you got to be very careful with these, or you can break them very easy. And you have to let them sit out and get hard. But the little flowers are coming out cute, and the little leaves. I love how tiny those leaves are, because I'm always needing some tiny leaves. Pretty. And these leaves are coming out really pretty. They have a lot of detail in them. Even the little ones have a lot of detail in them. But you just have to have the leave those uh, branches, get them out of the mold at least, and then let them uh, sit and get hard because they are just so thin. But they're so cute and they're perfect for little, um, to set little birds on like I like to do. So I have a little bird, um, we call them bro brooches that I get from Timu. And I put them on little branches and stuff. I usually use real branches off trees, but some of the tree branches that I are, am able to get around here are a little bit too big. So this is going to be a perfect size for uh, what I need for those. So I was really tickled to get these. I did, like I said, I didn't know I was going to get so many sent to me, but I'll be able to pour a lot at one time. Or I might be able to just share. Who knows? Alright. And I poured extra... Uh, these are little... I call them little pocket turtles. They're so tiny. I mean, they're just so, so tiny. But they're so cute. But I got this uh, from Timu. This little, so I give them as little pocket hugs. Alright. So there you go. Now, uh, like I said, I got these from BB Craft. I will link and put their link if you're interested. And in, uh, if you have over 100 followers and you're interested in um, collaborating with them. Um, they have a lot of different molds available and stuff. This was just a mere pittance of what they they have. But um, I think you'd be... Uh, and their prices are really good. Very, very good. And they have a very wide selection. So I'll be linking that in there. And uh, my next... Uh, uh, I'm going to find out how to make this compartment box. And then we'll be making that. And also using those bezels to make some UV jewelry. So until next time, uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that uh, I uh, gave you some inspiration on what you could do with these. And uh, and uh, you would go and check out BB Craft. Like I said, they're very. Uh, they have a lot of interesting things. A lot of good quality things. These uh, bezels that I got were very, very good quality. I was very impressed with the quality. Uh, so I can't wait to make those um, into some jewelry because uh, the quality of it was very uh, imminent or obvious. That's what obvious. The quality of these are very obvious. But, uh, and the detail on them. I was very impressed with the detail, with the coral. See the little coral and the starfish and the, I think this one has a starfish and shells and coral. They're going to make some really pretty um, UV necklaces.
So that'll be coming. Alright. I'll have everything linked in the uh, description, and I hope you have a great day. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please think about subscribing. It doesn't cost anything, and uh, it helps me grow my channel. And later on, uh, in a couple hours, I'm going to be doing the drawing for um, the gift card that I hit 200, and uh, I'm excited about that. So that'll be in a couple hours, and uh, I'll see y'all then. Y'all have a good afternoon.